step is we're going to use this alcohol and a Q-tip and we're going to clean a little piece of glass. Okay, so I've already got some alcohol on my Q-tip and you're just going to wipe it clean and then dry it with a piece of paper towel and make sure that there's no little fuzzies on it and just set it aside and uh, then we're going to put our image, two images between two pieces of glass. And we'll be All right, I um, put two stamps in here so that w whichever side you can see some image in there and you want to make sure that the paper, the stamp, whatever the image is, is not sticking out past the glass. And then I just uh, cut myself a little piece of um, copper foil, make sure that's going to go all the way around. Okay, so you're going to peel back uh, the copper foil a little bit, not the whole thing, and you're going to very carefully it's one of those things that's going to be a little hard to do on camera. I'm going to try to zoom you in a hair. Okay, and um, you don't want to start at the end. You want to start in the middle, and I can trim some of that uh, after the fact, but I'm going to lay this down so that it's right in the middle of the tape. All right, so you just want to lay you want to lay it down right on top of the copper foil so that it's in the middle of the strip. So there's the same oops <laughs> the same the same amount on each side. And then you just want to wrap it all the way around. Okay, you just want to wrap it all the way around. I'm all the way around and I just wanted to show you this is just the last where I'm going to meet and I'm going to overlap this just a little bit and you want to make sure that it is straight and then trim it off. And you don't want the copper foil to be on the corner. And just take your time and make sure that it's it's straight. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is push down the edges and you're going to do all four and, and stay away from the corners for a moment. So you're going to push down the edges on each side with your finger. And the way we're going and when you do that, you're pushing down on the back and the front. All right, so now to do the corners, you're going to take your fingernails and just push together like you're, you want to miter the corner. I was going to say like wrapping a present, but I don't wrap my presents like this. <laughs> but you want the corners to be mitered. So you're just going to get to the corner and squeeze your fingernail. This is the easiest way I have found to do this. Okay? and you're going to do this to the top and the bottom. After you pinch your corners, after you miter your corners, you will take your flat nose tool and you will just lay it right down on the corner and just trim it off. Trim those little wings off. The next step is the bone folder and you're going to burnish. So take a few minutes and just burnish this down do the uh, long edges and then do the corners and then you also want to do the flat edge around the outside. Edge. We are ready to have some fun. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. And I've got my solder here and my glass flux is right here and the lid is open so I, I want to be careful with that. I have a Q-tip and you must flux. Do not forget to flux. So I'm going to do um, two sides. I'm going to do this side and this side. So you do a little bit at a time and if you want to just do one side that's fine. If this flux starts to dry you do have to reapply it. So um, here's my soldering iron. I'm all ready and I am going to I've got my 
piece of um, pendant in my clip and I'm going to grab some solder and I'm just going to run it along the edge. Okay, uh, you, you want to kind of go, you don't want to go real fast, but you want to go like at a steady pace. Okay. And you can go over it a little bit. Now I'm going to set that down and I'm going to put more solder on just this edge. Now this is really hot so you definitely don't want to touch it. So I'm going to do the third edge, then I'm going to let it dry, release it, and move the clip. Sometimes uh, your soldering iron might not be hot enough. and you just might have to find that sweet spot and you'll have to experiment with the amount of solder that you're going to put on there. You definitely don't want it to be flat but you can actually put too much on and then it will just like drip off the sides so you have to practice. That's just something that you have to practice and you'll get a feel for it. So now I'm going to do the edge before I release this and do that last side. Okay, see how easy that is? She said. <laughs> all right, now we are ready. This is all soldered and it looks good. I'm real happy with it. And now we are about to apply and make sure that you're going in the right direction. We're about to apply the jump ring to the pendant. And I'm going to put it right in the center of the ledge, you might say. So what I like to do is make a little bit of a prop to hold, and I'm using that tweezer that I showed you in the beginning, a little bit of a prop to hold this exactly where I want it. All right, so that's going to be exactly where I want it. All right, and now I'm just going to do, don't forget the flux, Jerry, almost forgot the flux. So we're going to put flux on there and flux on the jump ring. And now we're just going to grab some solder and drop it right on there. Just like that. Can you see that? Now we're going to have to do that on both sides. So we're just going to give that a second to cool off and then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so now we're back and we're ready to clean our pendant and I've got some flux. Let me put the cap on. I've got some flux remover I'm going to use and a Q-tip. And I'm just going to go around and wipe the whole pendant down. And then I'm going to use a soft cloth and just clean it off. So there's our beautiful little pendant and I hope that you enjoyed our little soldering 101 lesson and I hope you'll give it a try and if you have any questions at all just ask in the comments or on the Facebook group and I hope you have a blessed day full of love and art and I will see you again soon. Bye bye guys.